Hey everybody, it's Yasha Saba here in beautiful Florence. As you can see, it's a little cloudy today. It feels great. Uh, we're gonna answer one of your, this is one of our Ask Me Anythings. We're gonna answer your estate planning question. Uh, the question that came in to me while I've been out with my wife was, what happens to my business if I die without having an estate plan? This is actually a very serious question for a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs that you need to listen to this answer. If you don't have a plan, if you don't have an estate plan or even a business succession plan, then your business not only will go up in smoke if something happens to you because chances are all the goodwill in your business, all the network, all the connections, all the know-how, it's all tied up right in here in your mind and you don't have checklists written down, you don't have any kind of documentation for your employees or your family to know what to do next, where are the bank accounts, who are the vendors to call, who still owes you money, who do you owe money to? So that's how a lot of businesses end up blowing up in smoke and what ends up happening is sometimes your family will just say, okay, uh, my loved one passed away, they were the one running the business, I don't know what to do anymore, so I'm just gonna wind everything down and pull the money out. And as you might say, that's fine. To me, I say, how many years have you been working on your business, building it up, building up its value? Wouldn't it be nice if your family could sell your business? Maybe they sell your whole role of clients, or maybe they sell all the appliances, all the inventory to the right company that's willing to buy it, the right company that can pay top dollar. There are ways you can sell your business where you don't pay so much in taxes, or your family can get a lot more value because of the name brand that you built up or the connections and the clientele. This is where, if you're a business owner, you have to have a real good talk with either your estate planning attorney or business lawyer on what happens next if something happens to you. You should never pass away without an estate plan if you're a business owner. Otherwise, you can rely on something like life insurance where maybe, yeah, the business is too complex. My law firm is too complex for my wife, Jasmine, to take over. She's not even a lawyer, you know? So what happens to all my clients? Maybe I have them go to another uh, lawyer, but I don't need anyone to buy my business out. I'm gonna get life insurance. So if something happens to me, that will be the buyout from my business that my wife did. You see, that's just like a little example of one small, easy approach to how you can take care of your business. So if you do have in a business, you should be speaking with a lawyer about estate planning. Uh, sometimes putting your business in a trust is one clean way to keep it out of court, out of conflict from any creditors or any other family members they have. If your business is something that you want to make money for your family, it isn't going to be revenue for them for the rest of their lives. Then you need to have a business succession plan, giving them guidance on how to take it over, creating documentation on how you want it to be run. That makes things a lot easier for them, all right? That's a nice quick question. I'm going back to my hotel in Florence. I will see you all later. This is Yasha Saba. If you ever have any other estate planning questions, wherever I am in the world, I'm more than happy to answer for you. Just email us at info at skyunlimited.law. You can find us on YouTube, LinkedIn, as well as here on Facebook. Take care, everybody. Bye.